Hello and welcome to my channel. I'm Natalie and this is All Things Natalie where we talk about fragrance, beauty, skincare, and more. So if you like that kind of content, subscribe and like this video. Today I'm going to do a transition from summer to fra fall fragrances. So I've got less than 10 here, I think. Seven, eight. So let's get into it. This also involves body mist, so yeah. The first one is Chirosa 62 Body Mist. This one I don't have the perfume of. This is pretty much the exact same thing as the perfume except it's a body mist so it has a higher concentration of alcohol which I can tell. This one isn't actually my favorite. This is my second favorite from the line. Actually third favorite now that the light pink one came out. 68. Anyway this one has notes of pistachio Almond, heliotrope, jasmine petals, vanilla, salted caramel, and sandalwood. I don't wear this so much in the summertime because it's pretty sweet. Although I feel like it is good for the summertime, but it does really mesh well from the summer to fall area where it's kind of like the weather is still changing, still warm, not too cold yet. The next one, I'm just going to go on my Sol de Janeiro kick. And here is Chirosa 71. This is my favorite one from the line. And I feel like this one probably smells a lot like What About Pop from House of Oud. Just from the notes. This one has macadamia nut and coconut blossom, white chocolate, caramelized vanilla, and sea salt. So to me, it smells like a toasted s'mores pop tart. That's what it smells like to me, but to other people, it smells like a macadamia nut cookie with white chocolate chips in it. This is so delicious, and I love wearing this all year round, but it works the best, I think, in the fall and winter. I like to layer this with Lieb Intense. It works really well. The next one is a little more fruity. This is Juliet Has a Gun. Mmm. This one is one of my favorite perfumes. It is this powdery, raspberry, neroli, tuberose, iris, vanilla, caramel. It is just amazing. I love this. It's probably in my top, top five, maybe top three. That's pushing it. I have no idea what my top five are, but this, definitely worth it. I like that one for all year round, but it works really well in rainy weather and like kind of cooler, like 75 degrees and under. The next one is another fruity, fruity sweet. This is Ariana Grande's Cloud. This has notes of coconut flakes, toasted coconut flakes, lavender, praline, red fruits. This one is a Baccarat Rouge 540 dupe, apparently. Still have not smelled that one officially, but this one is affordable and it's pretty good. So it's just the one ounce. Look at the bottle. Yeah. This one is too sweet for me in the summer, so I think fall, winter, and the transition from summer to fall, it works a lot better. Next, I'm going to do Fancy, which is an apple and caramel almond scent. The bottle is really pretty. Like, I love the roses on the side. My juice has not darkened very much because I've had this bottle for less than a year, almost a year. And I haven't used a lot out of it because I have the Fine Fragrance Mist. That one I love to spray on my curtains and sheets and just anything really all over. I like to mix this fancy with Chirosa 71. These two together works really nicely. 
I'm not super into layering, but sometimes I do layer. Next one is La Vie Belle Le Clot, the Eau de Parfum. This one is more vanillic now because I've had this for like three, four years. I'm not sure. But back when I first got it, it was like this lighter orange blossom sweet scent. Now it's de definitely more of like the praline. You still get the orange blossom, but as fragrances age, the top notes kind of disappear. And I did have this one out in the sun for like a year-ish, so I'm sure that's why I don't get as much orange blossom. But I'm sure if I got a new bottle, it would be white again. But this one's aged. It's like half gone. I heard they discontinued this, which is really sad. And there's also an Eau de Toilette version that I want to try because I heard that one has tea and neroli in it. So, yep, I'm interested for a lighter version. Next one is another coconut scent. This is Dolce & Gabbana's The Only One Intense. This one, I definitely think has the alien jasmine. It smells really good. I like wearing this on rainy days. I have to wear this in cooler weather or like a nighttime perfume because it is like jasmine can give me a headache like tuberose I can't really wear heavy tuberose scents because that gives me a headache and the alien jasmine has a similar effect on me I love smelling alien on other people it smells amazing love smelling it from the bottle I have a dupe under my bed but I I can't wear it. But I mixed my dupe uh, sacrifice for her from Ajmal with this, and it was beast mode. It was so jasmine y. Like, if you need a great combo now that Alien has been reformulated, unofficially reformulated, I think this would work really well. The notes in here are green apple, neroli, coconut. Vanilla and cedar. There's some other things, like, of course, but that's the main, those are the main notes. But this smells really good. I can't wait to start wearing this one. It's still like 80 some degrees where I live in the Midwest and really humid. Like, the temperature is equal to the humidity, and I am not loving this. I am a fall girl. I can't wait for. 70 degree and under weather. Oh, yes. And the last scent I have for you is Angel Eau de Toilette from Moogler. This one I also have the big bottle of, but I think I want to declutter that. So I just have my mini here. This one has notes of red fruits, peony, and praline. It has some other notes, but you know, that's the main gist. This one does not have patchouli in it, to my understanding, which makes it a lot more wearable than Alien. I mean, Angel. Also, probably more wearable than Alien, but... Angel, I thought, when I first sprayed it, was like bug spray. I smelled it when I was about 10, and that was pre moogler So, I never smelled Alien when I was younger. Just Angel. And my sister wanted a bottle. I don't think she ever got one. But anyway, I got this one after smelling it in an Ulta. Yeah, this is the 2019 release. The Comet Angel Eau de Toilette is from 2011, I believe. And that one has different notes, but it also is intriguing to me. Anyway, this is a really good transition from summer and just fall winter scent. Anyway, that was my video for you guys. I hope you enjoyed it. Those were all the summer to fall transition scents I have in my collection that I currently use. I probably have more under my bed. I have a box of perfumes under there that I don't wear that I need to declutter or try out again. So, the only one I can think of that would be 
a good year-round or summer to fall transition is Roberto Cavalli's just the original one that's in the gold packaging. That's it. But other than that, eh. Okay. Thank you for watching. Bye!